All right, so a little frustrated. This is like attempt number eight on this video. I was trying to improve the video quality after I had somebody comment and say they tried to watch my videos, but basically they were unwatchable due to the background noise. I don't necessarily think that was the case. I listen to my videos before I post them, um, and you can clearly hear me over any background noise or road noise um, without any issue, but because I'm a man of the people, I listened to the suggestion and I tried to improve, uh, improve the quality here. So I got a new mount, which is currently holding the phone. Hopefully it's more stable. I don't have to hold it when I turn. So far, so good on that part. Uh, however, I went and spent some money on this microphone. Uh, it's a corded microphone and it is a complete piece of shit. Uh, I've tried to make seven or eight different videos now using it. And if you think the, the background noise is bad in these videos, trust me, you would have gotten about three seconds into one of those videos and turned it off because the sound quality was so terrible. So I'm gonna continue to work on that. I wish I could have a full YouTube studio, but that requires a desktop computer and a monitor and a webcam and an actual microphone. And just for mediocre products like that, um, you're talking 500 to $1,000 pretty easily. So right now, this is what I've got. I've got a phone mounted to my windshield in my truck. So thanks for watching. Today's video, this is the college football coaching carousel 2020, episode two. Last week, we spoke about Jim Harbaugh at the University of Michigan. This week, definitely a higher candidate on the hot seat might have the hottest seat in college football, and that is South Carolina head coach Will Muschamp. So Will Muschamp's seat has been hot at South Carolina basically since he got hired. He's never really done well there. Um, he's always kind of fallen short of expectations. He has a 26 and 25 overall record in four years. He's made a bowl game in three of those four years, but they've only made they've only won one of them. This past year was the first time they didn't win, uh, make a bowl game, but they beat Georgia, which ultimately kept Muschamp his job for at least another year. Um, fluke win against Georgia on the road. It was just. It, Georgia could do absolutely nothing right on offense, and South Carolina could do absolutely nothing wrong on defense. South Carolina only scored uh, one touchdown. Their offense only scored one touchdown, and they still won. Um, I mean, the, the interceptions that they had, the one, the one guy had three interceptions, I believe it was, on his own. Um, pick six. One of them, he was diving the opposite way. Another interception was tipped. Uh, the best kicker in college football for the last four years missed two field goals. I mean, it, it was just a, it was the craziest concoction of WTF that Georgia's had in a couple of years and probably that South Carolina's defense has had in a couple of years. Uh, there was just, it was a weird game. But regardless, South Carolina won that game, and that ultimately is what secured another year for Will Muschamp. So 26 and 25 as a coach at South Carolina, one and two in bowl games. This past season, 2019, was his first year ever beating Georgia, and he has yet to beat Clemson. So his two biggest rivals, Clemson and Georgia. He's one in 
seven against them. Um, so that that plays a little bit of a role as to why he's on the hot seat as well. Recruiting is uh, recruiting is definitely a part of it. And South Carolina is uh, not terrible at recruiting, but they're okay um, as far as their ranking in the country. They're usually pretty good, but they're usually in the back tier of the SEC. Uh, so, for example, 2020, they finished 18th overall in the country, but they were like 8th in the SEC. Um, they did land some big big name recruits. Obviously, the one with the most drama and the one that you've heard about, uh, defensive end George Birch. They also got uh, a very good running back, in Marshawn Lloyd, and then they got that uh, quarterback, Doty. Um, but again, they were like eighth in the SEC. Last year, uh, 2019, they were 21st in the nation. Again, they were seventh or eighth in the SEC. They got a couple decent recruits. Uh, Pickens, I think, is a defensive tackle there, or defensive end. Um, and they got Polinsky, which is the quarterback. Uh, 21st overall, 7th rate in the SEC. Previous year, 2018, 18th overall again, 7th um, rate in the SEC. So you see there's a, and then the year before that, 2017, they were 21st, 7th rate in the SEC. There's a pattern where they're, they hover right around 20th in the country but they're never better than seventh uh, in the conference. And so when you're consistently the third or fourth best team recruiting in your division, you're consistently going to finish third or fourth in your division. And that's exactly what Will Muschamp has done thus far at, at South Carolina. So some bigger news uh, within the last week. All in the same day announced within like the same hour um, there was a mass exodus of coaches um, John Scott Jr. who was the defensive line coach accepted the same position at Penn State but he got like a $300,000 raise that's probably a pretty big hit for South Carolina um, that's known for their defensive line I know he hasn't been there very long but he helped land Jordan Birch so uh, obviously he's, he's a pretty decent coach um, and then two former UGA players, Thomas Brown, uh, who was the running backs coach, accepted the same job offer, running backs coach for the Los Angeles Rams. And uh, Brian McClendon, who was the offensive coordinator, another uh, UGA grad, uh, was the offensive coordinator, accepted. He was demoted in December. He was wide receivers coach. Uh, accepted a position with the Pittsburgh Steelers. So arguably three of your top coaches as far as name and reputation go are gone. Uh, they replaced Scott with Tracy Rocker, who is familiar for Georgia fans. Um, he was on our coaching staff. He was recently in Tennessee, but don't expect him to be at South Carolina for more than two years. I think the guy's had seven different jobs in the last 13 years. So, um, I mean, he just he hops around just whenever he feels like it. Um, just needs a change of scenery. So they got Tracy Rocker to replace John Scott. We'll see if that's an upgrade, downgrade. I don't know that it necessarily makes any difference. But uh, Will Muschamp. He bought himself another year by beating Georgia in Athens in 2019. Whether it was a fluke or not, it happened, and it ultimately extended his coaching career. He's probably going to get a defensive coordinator spot at a Power 5 school once he does resign or get fired from South Carolina. I just don't think he's a very good head coach. He wasn't very good at Florida. Um, he's not doing very well at South Carolina probably going to go back to being a DC. Nothing wrong with that. Will Muschamp, he's on the hot seat. 
He's been on the hot seat for the last couple years. That seat has not cooled down. It's only getting warmer. And if South Carolina has another losing season in 2020, that seat will be on fire and he will be gone. Whether he steps down or gets fired, if South Carolina has a losing record in 2020, it will be Will Muschamp's last year. So that is all for today. Hopefully the video is at least the same quality, um, if not a little bit better. Hopefully it wasn't too, uh, too shaky. Again, I'm just trying a couple new things. I got a new mount, like I said, just to, to try to help with the video quality so that I don't have to hold it whenever I'm turning. Um, the microphone thing did not work out. That's That'll be a work in progress. Hopefully I can figure out, uh, you know, maybe a different microphone or, or figure something out uh, for the time being. But again, uh, thank you for watching. Will Muschamp, your seat is on fire. We'll see you soon.